Hey, welcome to Swift Intuition. If this is your first time on my channel, please like and subscribe. This is your girl, Mercy. And if this is not your first time on my channel, hey, family. Nice to see you again. So today we're going to do the energy for our beautiful Taurus. It's just going to be what spirit wants us to know. And uh, yeah, we're going to get into that. Also, if you guys want to follow me on any of, any of my other social medias, uh, Instagram and or Snapchat, all the information will be in the description below. Messages of love and life are beautiful Taurus. Messages of love and life are beautiful Taurus. Messages of love and life are beautiful Taurus. Okay. Got two cards that flipped over. Ooh, we got we have the Ten of Wands. And we have the Hierophant in reverse. So right now, this is telling me, Taurus, that you are in current, well, your past, recent past energy is of you leaving the situation. I feel like uh, the situation had you feel burdened and weighed down. And I feel like it's been a long journey to even get to the point to where you have left. And, um... And it's like right now you're just trying to figure out what is a new place. What what where where are you going from here? You know, like okay, now it's time to set up a shop. I finally moved. Now where am I going to set up? What is going to be my new location? And then with the hierophant in reverse, this the hierophant in reverse speaks of like a separation, a long term permanent separation. Or it could be a divorce because the hierophant in the upright is marriage, long-term commitment. So this is something that was long-term that is currently ended. And it's like you no longer see... Um, you no longer see a future with it. And with that, we have the Ace of Swords that has popped out. The Ace of Swords it says some type of truth came out that... Um, or in the new, near future, I feel like some type of truth came out that made it sufficient that the relationship was over. If it was some truth that you had hidden and your partner found out or they had hidden and you found out, but it caused a separation or a divorce. And I feel like this truth had made you actually realize some things about yourself that you could have kept hidden so a little bit Taurus I feel like for some for some of you Taurus this is dealing with you leaving I mean uh having to leave because some truth came out about what you were doing and, and it's something that you had to really go within yourself and understand okay this was my dynamic this is some of the things I need to work on or vice versa remember energy is fluent so this could not just be Taurus it could be for the cross watcher then we have the magician so the magician is somebody who's like a master manifester so this makes me feel like mm, sorry I had some oxtails <laughs> This makes me feel like uh, Taurus, like you were man, you kind of manifested a way of escape. So it's like you kind of knew you were like time was uh, dwindling in whatever situation you were in, and it's like you were kind of manifesting how it was going to. Spirit, what is the magician? Yeah. Oh. This is be <laughs> Taurus. I gotta give it to you how I see it. Taurus, this is the devil card. So it was some toxic things. I feel like. <sighs> All right, Taurus. I feel that if you were in a long term relationship or a marriage, I feel like, of course, nothing is always just your fault. But I feel like on certain circumstances that. You were creating obstacles in your relationship that you knew were toxic. And you knew that once the truth came out about it, that it would damage the relationship. And uh, <clears throat> and that's what happened. And that's the reason, because at first I thought for some it will be, you know, you leaving. But for a lot of tourists, this is uh, you being kind of like removed 
or kicked out of the house. Like if you were married, which you were probably currently going through a divorce or a separation or something that you hope can rekindle. It's like you were, you were kind of been put out or you left because you were doing things that you knew that would end this long term commitment. You were manifesting or you were partaking in some, some, um, devilish activities some like some habits like if you if you're married let's just say like you addicted to having entanglements with younger women or younger men then that is what you were manifesting that is what you were stirring up it it, it was like when you mm, then we have the page, the page of swords. So the page of swords speaks of kind of communication. It was like you, you were very immature with your communication, how you would deliver certain truths or certain situations. And it was like, because of that, and you were acting very youthful when it came to your toxicity, it was like you had no control. And once the truth came out, it was like, like, really? <laughs> it was something. And it was crazy because with the Ten of Cups, it was, mm, in a way, it's like this truth is actually freeing you. Well, you moving, I feel like for some tourists, I feel like it's like finally you found you. Some, for it, that is for some. Some of you, you knew the, the the marriage was over or whatever. So I feel like for some of you, you were really aiding in the demise of this long term relationship because you were no longer in it, and you you no longer handled the marriage immaturity. You just said what you said and let it land the way it landed. And I feel like because of this truth. Like, even though this marriage is over, I feel like you're, feel, you're having some type of inner peace because, because, because you really didn't want to be in this relationship or this marriage anyway. And I feel like now since the truth has came out and either you left or you have been kicked out because of what has came out, now it's like you finally feel that you can... Um, you can you can kind of be free and and actually if you wanted to explore being with somebody else on this on that permanent level you can do that as well and i also feel like some of your happiness some of what you feel like you really want is toxic so the lifestyle uh some of you tourists want to have is a toxic lifestyle like it, it is what it is so when the money comes, movie. Okay, wait. Then we have, oh, wait. Right here we have the Nine of Swords. I feel like with this, with the during the divorce or whatever, the separation is keeping you stuck. You could have children with this person, and that could be something that you have, I say children, grandchildren. So this is something that you have to really, you know, deal with, with the actual moving out. You're actually dealing with the emotions, and not just that. You feel kind of stuck with the actual truth being told it's like okay i did this this is like this is something that you that could be frowned upon from some people you know especially if you have this this uh grandchildren or like like your family has expanded and you are at this mature state and now the separation taking place so this is kind of bothering you and then the last thing we have here is the tower something unexpected is happening I feel like the transition, it's not transitioning the way you want it to go, Taurus. It's like whatever the, this divorce or this separation, you thought it was going to move more smoothly, and it's not because it's dealing with the grandkids. It's dealing with your your, your adult, uh, for some of y'all who have adult uh, children. And even if not, it's dealing with your, your children are feeling some type of way because of whatever is coming to light, the truth that is being shined on these addictions. And not just that, but the, the inability to communicate communicate effectively and get through this because I feel like you guys were the pillar of of whatever family dynamic you guys have had all right let me get some messages from the oracle
Love Oracle. Messages of Love and Light. I am the Oracle. Messages of Love and Light. Okay. So we have dating. Yeah, your person or you could have been dating. Uh, uh, meeting someone new, seeing other people, and that could have been a um, that could have been a problem that that your spouse or your other person could have um, could have caught wind of. And then it says outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying uh, events over in your head. So I feel like because it's landed by the page of swords, this is what is this is what was kind of immature about the situation that maybe you did not develop how you how you went into this new beginning or how you were going to change the situation because you had outdated thinking or because you kept replaying certain situations in your head that your partner may have done. Then we have the mask, meaning that you were not being honest with yourself or with the ones around you about how you felt. We had not talking. You were not communicating. You did not want to discuss the situation at hand when it first occurred. Then we have a hold up of abundance so if somebody is running into some type of abundance either it be you or your person because of the separation is going to leave somebody more financially stable and then we have engagement so maybe at this time somebody is now being able to pursue who they really want because if you were separated and you wanted to actually be with somebody else then that might be what's coming if you separated from your spouse and they end up finding somebody during the separation that really made them happy then we see the engagement elevation of a relationship and also we have palm trees stability security so somebody is about to find some type of security or stability could be in this new person or it could be in the wealth that's coming to them from this divorce all right if anything resonates please like and subscribe hit that notification button i love you guys love yourself